Uh, Ajay this site and today I'm going to going to explain you how deep learning algorithm work uh, specific application what is liver tumor say, is all about and how you can perform uh, you can create a model for liver tumor segmentation that um, the source of data set is slits uh, 2017 and uh, it's a 3d data set and uh, we are going to use PyTorch and fast AI to do this implementation so let's move forward and see how uh, what how the data set is look like and then we will uh, keeps moving from there so uh, I hope you guys can see my screen and uh, organically you can download this data set from the Kaggle in uh, in general data set will be in NZ format every time you have the medical data set in the form of NZ where you have some ground truth images and potential the segmented image I'm, I'm actually copying one ground truth and one uh, or input image so that I can explain you these things I'm copying it on somewhere like paste it here and let me open a tool for visualizing visualizing this for basic uh, there is an open source tool available for visualizing the 3d data and uh, the tool name is mango that is a jar application when you click on it just uh, open the image okay um, this is for kidney I will explain the kidney later um, where did I put it home H -A. videos volume okay uh, I'm opening this is MRI images basically whenever the MRI is done your image to the doctor or the di uh, the people who do the, who is doing the diagnosis will look like this where uh, and it's really hard to see where the liver is located and <laughs> further very difficult how you know whether the liver is affected by some disease or not I'm opening the uh, segmented image also so that you can see this data set is publicly made, made available by MICCA and the competition name is LITS 2017 and there's a lot of you know work people can do in the medical image segmentation because a lot of people are dying big because of non-diagnosis reason okay it's hard to diagnose uh, you know liver tumor but um, let's say okay and I'm um, putting my parallel image here so that you can see uh, let me move this thing here okay uh, this good okay drag it from this point to this point ideally I'm trying to copy the location of it so that I can show you how the tumor is look like okay let me bring it on the top like here okay guys now as you know it's not very much visible but uh, you can see here this is the liver and here it is located and this white dot you you guys can see is actually the tumor located in liver so the main purpose of this research is to first locate the liver from MRI images effectively and thereafter locate the tumor uh, which lie inside the liver okay so uh, you uh, let you for getting this data set just search on internet lits 2017 and for visualizing it because visualizing is the most important part uh, to start your research if you and you can see the data then you can actually start understanding it and and uh, can create effective algorithm significantly so uh, the mango mango tool is open source and that's a jar file I'm actually on Linux operating system so I'm using Linux version and here you can see the liver and its segmentation where the tumor is live white dot is showing the tumor portion so let's move forward and see how the implementation is look like prior to move uh, moving forward this side is Ajay and uh, I would um, if you are new to my channel just uh, click on subscribe button and uh, I will try to publish a, a video and on research new upcoming research topic every day also explain my experience of pa uh, past previous research 
uh, I don't want to waste much of your uh, much time of you guys because uh, you are here to seeing this big uh, liver tumor segmentation because you are all must be doing this thing already so let me open uh, close mango and open some notebook for you guys okay okay so mm, 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 mm. so uh so you know fast ai is a really uh, simplify medical segmentation you can see download and my uh, as you know guys my images are in archive 9 and archive 12 folder available so first uh, first we will walk through every folder and get the list of files where we can see image directory name and the uh, the files name then we map the file in the way like uh, particularly image represent its uh, ma match with the segmentation one and then we move forward to uh, create two dimensional image from those 3d images you can see here okay so this image uh, after uh, converting into two dimensional look like this okay and uh, entire source code is very simple simple okay import some libraries numpy pandas i believe you guys already know about some basic python so um, i will not waste much time of you guys to and uh, to explain you about the python basic syntax okay and um, imp uh, first import some basic libraries important libraries is nibble because nibble is really imp uh, nibble is important to visualizing and importing the image this is library uh, this library handle the knee z data medical data Im imaging data okay fast ai and pytorch because uh, fast ai already provided a, a segmentation model so we don't need to create you know segmentation model so and so so first uh, i'm using fast ai here and pytorch because it's run on the top of the torch first read all the images from the walk through okay this lines means os dot walk it will get information and files available inside archive 9 folder then you get the file name then after getting a file name from archive 9 move toward archive 12 folder os dot walkthrough then you get again the file name and all the file will get appended in a file list okay and this list consists image uh, the the images available inside these folders thereafter this file list will uh, get converted into pandas data frame okay and in this data frame you can see consist directory name and the file name now it's time to arrange the files so whosoever the file uh, having the extension of segmentation will put as a target uh, uh, target file name and rest of the file name will be as the input okay this function is created for uh, read the NZ file format using nibble as i told you in the beginning that nibble is is the library used to import the function uh, used for for loading the NZ data okay these are the custom uh, pre-processing function available in fast ai so i'm going to use lever here lever segmentation okay guys so guys uh, i was here explaining you about the windows function then after reading the image uh, okay because the custom uh, reader is available read niz for file okay when we read the image the original images look like this after applying some pre-processing function okay but uh, the input image without applying the pre-processing look like this so you can see here the clarity of the image now you can see the liver part clearly there are multiple samples uh, you know the inconsistency of each NIZ 3D samples uh, uh, inconsistency of you know number that's why we are converting these images into 2D first and thereafter applying segmentation onto it okay and this is the liver uh, uh, segmented image where you can see here these dots represent the tumor in the liver okay this custom function will enable us to see everything in a in um, in one image okay by using subplot here you can see original image windows image mask and liver mask so um, thereafter we move toward saving the image this entire method is used for saving the images which reach each images walk through the directory read the pandas data frame 
and convert into two dimensional image and keep saving it okay now after the saving images image will look like this okay these are slices of liver images then we move forward this model this is the training part okay so fast ai enable us to create you know um, efficient way to train the model by using data block data block is basically created a pipeline which supply the data to the model uh, sequentially so uh, once we create the data block okay you can also resize images in the data block okay and also declare the batch size that how many number of images your model uh, your model will take at one time okay so uh, that once you have data loader uh, create the data loader all you need to do just give the path of the folder where your train images is being placed now next time next task is to create the unit learner so uh, the fast ai is already consists the learners so i'm going to use unit learner uh, restnet 18 as an encoder and uh, decoder is the reverse of it so when we use resnet 18 as a decoder uh, encoder function its pre trained weights which is being trained on large number of image data set is already used you can also um, use any other model but uh, resnet 18 is lightweight and quite efficient so like that for uh, for phd purpose you can do some innovation yeah, like adding custom loss function like creating the hybrid of multiple uh, resnet or efficient net models like this but for time being i'm just giving an introduction that unit learner this is a built in functionality available in fast ai okay data dls is the data loader which is also provided by the fast ai resnet 18 this is a pre trained weights okay so don't uh, will not take much time after being trained once you are learner is being derived all you need to do just uh, you know data loader will supply the image uh, Im uh, learning images sequentially create the part of create the pipeline learner dot fine tune will tune the model corresponding to your images and you can see here uh, for uh, one epoch it all only take 1.5 Three one seconds, okay. One minute thirty one seconds. So though that's very efficient way to uh, train a model uh, when you are having when you have large number of data set, and uh, additionally, um, pre-train will enable us to uh, you know do your experiment quickly. So once you see, uh, once you tune the model, you will have uh, ulti you ultimately have these things. We are train loss, validation loss. accuracy and customer accuracy custom accuracy i have already told you in the beginning that you are what you are doing segmentation and classification first you need to segment the uh, liver and uh, its tumor and there are three classes background liver and tumor okay so after being trained your image pre segmented image will look like this where the liver is targeted okay and this is the predicted you can see here input image this is the target original image and this is the predicted loss best loss okay this is also available in the fast ai segmentation interpretation from learner and plot the top 50 losses you can see here the result and result are pretty much uh, good and look and liver is located this is all about liver tumor segmentation guys i'll i'll come again with new topics and we'll explain we'll um, explain uh, you know individual functionality of liver tumor and medical image segmentation later on so uh, this is my first video guys after long uh, i hope you guys like it and if you have any query you can ping me i also given my number on the title section of the video so that you guys won't face any difficulty when it's come to machine learning and ai so the purpose of this channel is only for education purpose uh, the people who face difficulty doing the implementation thank you guys bye bye